Today, people around the world are marking Holocaust Remembrance Day, honoring the six million Jewish people killed by Nazi Germany. Jean Klein was only 16 when he and his family were sent to Auschwitz. Tonight, he shares his remarkable story in our first person report. My name is Jean Klein, and I'm a Holocaust survivor. And, you know, this was the spring of 1944, and the slaughter of the Jews has been going on for years now all over Europe, wherever the Nazis occupied. And it was our turn now in uh, Hungary. Hungarian soldiers are waking us up early in the morning, and they are telling us we're going to get on trains and be moved to places we don't know where. And start marching toward the train, which consists of mostly of cattle cars, which is rust color cars with big sliding doors with very small windows, barbed wire. And our journey takes three days and three nights. Finally, we arrive to our destination, which we don't know where it is, what it is. The doors open. We have maybe a few minutes just to hug when the order comes. Women and children on the left-hand side. Men and boys from about mid-teens up, always rows of five, and you start marching on. And then I get up to the front. My father is next to me. So this SS officer points to him, you, this way, points to me, you, this way. They were playing God. If you went to the left, you would be going directly to the gas chambers. After I talked to a Pol Polish prisoner who, uh, because I asked him how come my father went to the left and I went to the right, he told me, come with me, and he took me outside the barracks once we were there. And he points in the distance with the big, tall chimney spewing smoke and, and sparks, and he tells, tells me, your father is going up the chimney. And I tell myself, what is he talking about? I was with my father yesterday. How can he be going up the chimney? And then he tells me, this is Auschwitz. This is Auschwitz-Birkenau. This is where you arrived. We are being shipped here to be killed. And I realize I have got to come up with some sort of goals in my mind to survive. And I came up with two. I told myself, my mother and two sisters are alive and well, and they're going to make it home. I had no idea what happened to them you know, in Auschwitz. You know, they could have been dead, but I told myself they're alive. And the other thing was, these Nazis, if they kill me, they win. If I stay alive, I win. And one morning, when we are coming out, because you could only spend a couple of hours because you are sometimes laying down next to prisoners who are dying, and it's just awful, we come out, and the first thing we notice, you know, guards are at the machine gun towers. All of a sudden, there's a break in the fog. All we see is two horses approaching with one human being on one of the horses. One of the Polish kids said, look at his hat. And I look, red star. What a feeling. Know that you made it. So the three of us, as fast as our skinny legs could carry us, running to all the barracks, opening the door in all the languages we knew, we yell in, we are free, we are free. This is something that you don't forget. Gene Klein's mother and sisters also survived Auschwitz. You can read more of his story in the book, We Got the Water. We'll be right back.